that's true today is no matter what happens in this job, as long as you go home safe to your family is the number one important thing to do. So safety is the, the best advice that I got and to keep your head in the game. Uh, we're responding to a call here where the black male on a bicycle is trying to lure a 12-year-old uh, uh, girl um, away from her mom. Jaren's in the car right here. What are you doing? I ain't doing anything, sir. What do you mean you're not doing nothing? I'm not doing anything. Hands up on the car. Any weapons on you, sir? No, sir. Nothing? No. Squad 360. Where are you going? I was going, I'm headed back down to the Salvation Army, sir. To where? Salvation Army. Okay. Where are you coming from? I came from uh, around to the place around there where I ate at. Where's the place around there where you oh, ate at? What's, what's the what's the address? Clifton. Put down the stick. That's my okay, go ahead and just step back for me. I'll come talk to you in just one minute. All right, sir. Put your hands behind your back. You're just gonna be placed in cuffs for now. Is this is this where you're living right now? Yes, sir. Which one? Ten ten or one thousand? One thousand? Yes, sir. Here. Right there. Sir, come over this way. Just for now, you're being detained while we investigate the call that's going on, okay? What? We're investigating a luring. A luring? Yep, you know what that is? Uh, that means somebody is trying to... I'll explain to you what's going on, okay, in just okay, a minute. Give me you. one minute. Thank I'll be right back with you. So you're walking down this way, right? And he comes biking up alongside you. And then what does he say to you? He says, hey, baby. And so I just start screaming for my friend. Okay. And then where did he go from there? Did he continue following you? Or? He just went that way, straight down. Her 21. So, so he was going the other way then. Yeah. Okay. She said he kept getting closer and stuff because she came in screaming. We just went right around the corner right next to the church. And she came in screaming and just crying and... I didn't know what happened, and I was asking her, and she goes, this guy kept following me, he wouldn't stop following me, and I, and I was like, what guy automatically I had to come and see, because there's a lot of kids that are around here, so that's the reason I followed him. I don't know what he was trying to hit on or what he was trying to do, but that's why I called the cops. Okay. I see a lot of stuff that goes on around here, and right. somebody just, just right over here just got raped not too long ago. Right, yep. Is this the guy then that followed you, the guy that we yeah. arrested in the back of the squad car, okay? Is that the bike that we have over there? Is that his? Did you see it? Did he have that pack on him still and everything? Okay. Okay. So, just so I got it straight, you're walking down Portland Avenue on this side, so you're on the east side of the street, and he's biking going northbound, right? Mm -hmm. he, well, he was coming this way, then he turned around. Oh, so then he turned around, okay, and then started going back the other way. Okay, and then he comes up and he says, hey, baby, to you? Okay. I mean, did he keep coming closer to you, or yeah. as he's saying that? And then once he started biking away, then you ran home to mom's. Okay. And did, did he did he follow you yeah. while you were running? Mm -hmm. But then once I got to the corner and started turning, he went straight. He did? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then he came back this way again? Mm -hmm. Okay. What other stuff did he say to you? That's all. Just say, baby. Okay. Did he do any motions with his hands or anything? No. Nothing? I thought okay. he was asking your name. Mm -hmm. Mom, he was saying, hey, baby. Oh, I, I just heard her screaming, and I... Left, where do you where do you guys live right down? Just right around the corner, two houses down from the church. Three. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. And then she made it all the way back home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. How long you been living there? Um, I think about three, four days. Three. No, give give me. I, I want exact because I'm gonna I'm gonna figure it out. I think about three or four days, sir. Okay. Well, what do you mean you think? Because a little bit ago you told me you're staying there. You've been staying there for a while. A while to me is like a week or two. About. Four days, I think. Four days, three, okay. Three four days, okay, right? you realize you're in violation of your your, um, your registration with the BCA? Oh, I didn't realize that. Though. Yeah. I, I thought they told me five days. Mm-hmm. No, it's three. Three days? It's three days. And I will check with 1010 or with 1000. I mean, I got your card. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So you're in violation of that. So you're, that's not, you're all, you're, not only that, but you're going to jail for that too because you didn't register. You are supposed to register your address within 72 hours. Oh, I didn't know that, officer. They you let you listen. You did know that because you signed a form when you're released that states that on there specifically, and I know you guys do. And they make sure that you understand that crystal clear. They told me five days. Okay, no, days. that is not the deal. That's what they are. I was so, with. all right. Well, I just went and spoke to some of the other officers there, and uh, they just informed me that he is a registered sex offender. Uh, it seems like he's not uh, compliant with his registration either. I'm going to go talk to him some more and see uh, what else happened here, if you want to go talk to the victim's family also. All right. We appreciate you guys calling us. You know, he, he's going to jail. He's a bad guy. We're getting off the street. Um, he's going to go to jail right now for the luring and then also for failure to register as a predatory sex offender. Um, the other part of it is the investigator will be giving you a call tomorrow to let you know what the outcome is, you know, how they're going to end up charging him in court tomorrow. So then on top of it, there'll be no contact order that is placed, so he cannot have contact, you know, with you and or with your daughter will be placed on there tomorrow. So if you, you know, he, if he gets out in a week or two or three or a month from now and you see him around and you call us back, um, we'll come on, we'll do this all over again and we'll put him back in jail. Hopefully he'll stay there for a long time. Um, at this point, he's violated his conditions of release. Hopefully, that's going to send him back to prison. Okay. So, thanks. Great. We appreciate thank you so giving much. us a call. Thank so, you. thank God you're okay. That's mm -hmm. that's the most important thing. To work in law enforcement, I've learned that uh, you kind of have to be a jack of all trades. Sometimes you'll be consoling somebody who just lost a family member in a traffic accident. Other times you're chasing a gang member who just uh, shot somebody and has a has a weapon on them and you need to be able to change your face quickly and they teach us in the academy to differentiate between